Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Monday the 5th through Friday the 9th of March 2018. Hope you have a good trading week. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. Monday up, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday down hard. Friday swept the lows and bounced back a little bit short covering. But what looked like maybe we had recovered this decline in the markets. Monday made it look like we're going to break out of that little range in the 50% retracement. We quickly gave back Tuesday. Accelerating downward later in the week as talk of tariffs started to hit the market. This is not look good, folks. This is not a positive looking chart for the market. Uh, the, the breakdown, the bounce, the failure around the 50%, the rollover, the volume picking up again. Remember, we talked about how light the volume was on the way back up for a couple of days. As you're going to see, it was, it was back with the vengeance when we went back down. So uh, that's not a positive. Let's take a look at all the major daily charts. Then we'll look at the intra-week action. Then we'll talk about what's coming out in the week ahead. So crude oil closes the week up 50 cents on Friday at 61.50. Gold up 16.30 to 13.21.50. Really, that's nowhere. Spa, the S&P cash index closed Friday up 13.58, but again, it was lower, made the new lows for the week on Friday. NDX was up 60.50 again after dipping earlier Friday and earlier in the week. Sox up 23.6. Had made new highs on Tuesday for a bit, but didn't close up there. Biotech's up 83, but they're nowhere near highs. The VIX loses 288, but it had gotten back near 26 at one point on Thursday and Friday. Uh, Trend closes at 1.11, but it had a couple of big days there, so that 10-day moving average is way up at 1.34 now on the uh, trend. And here's the interesting part. Remember, look at how low those volume numbers were as we were kind of bouncing. We were under 2 billion shares, and even Monday, which was the up day this week, was still, it was the lowest of the last month, you know, practically, except for one day, and down there at like 1.85 billion shares. And then look what happens. Tuesday, we start to drop. Wednesday, Thursday, and the volume numbers get up there to 2.4, 2.5 billion shares, 2.3 for the close on Friday, even though we recovered a bit on Friday. So again, the the, uh, the volume days are down, or the down days are volume days is the better way to look at that. And the, uh, the up days, there's no volume. That's not a positive for the market. Advanced decline ratio was up on Friday, plus 11.73, but obviously we had some negative days this week as well there. Uh, on the New York, plus 3.31. Google gains $12.73. Apple up 1.21. Amazon up 6.80, very near highs still. This thing just won't die, obviously. Netflix made new highs on Friday, up 10.66. Tesla gains $4.19. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, down $0.97 cents to $118.35. Goldman Sachs down $0.93. Cents. Uh, well off the highs there. All right, let's look at the intra-week action. So let's switch this over to 10-minute charts on the ES just to see what we did. So again, Monday we gapped up, tried to pull back a little bit, and then rallied the rest of the day. Tuesday, small gap up, filled it, tried to rally for about 30 minutes. That's the high of the week. Then we rolled over and sold off a bit on Tuesday. We picked up the pace Wednesday afternoon in particular. And then Thursday after trying to bounce, we rolled over even more sharply. So Friday we gapped down, and that's the last thing we wanted. I said going in, that's that's not going to be the tradable event. You'd rather have the gap up and sell off than the gap down like that. And they bought the gap up on a Friday. So, you know, some short covering from the week probably uh, to close out Friday. But as you can see, we were really even for the day until the last uh, 10, 15 minutes. NASDAQ side. Kind of the same thing. We were pretty even for the day late in the last hour, but managed to close up. Uh, all right. So uh, in terms of the markets, the technicals do not look pretty. Um, I would say overall, you know, there's a lot more negativity there. You, know, you can have up volume or up days on no volume and down days on volume. Doesn't usually bode well for the bulls. All right. Monday, final services PMI at 945. ISM manufacturing PMI at 10. Uh, nothing at 115 for a Fed, Fed member speaking at 115 and at 730 the next morning, a different Fed member speaking. Tuesday has factory orders at 10. IBD tip economic optimism number. Uh, another Fed member speaking 530 in the evening Tuesday. Another one speaking at 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Four different Fed members speaking. ADP non-farm employment change at 815 a.m. Eastern time. Another member, Dudley speaks again at 820. Second speech of the week for him. Revised non-farm productivity and unit labor cost trade balance. One of our big ones for Forex, that's uh, Wednesday at 8.30. Crude oil inventory is an hour into the market on Wednesday. Beige book at 2. Consumer credit at 3. Challenger job cuts Thursday at 7.30. Unemployment claims, that's the weekly number at 8.30, an hour before the bell on Thursday. Natty gas, an hour in. 
Friday is the unemployment rate. That's a big number. And then final wholesale inventory is at 10. I should also point out the next weekend is the time change here in the U.S. already. So be prepared for that, unfortunately. Uh, so that's the week ahead. Again, I think, you know, if we are going to head down, I don't want it to be in the form of gaps. Uh, but the easy money here has still been to the downside. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.